Well, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, so today's a travel day and it rained a few days before and then it dried out and the roads were looking good. And last night we got a torrential downpour for about 35, 40 minutes. So cool. it's gonna be interesting. And the spot we're in, we're all kinda, basically one had to pull in and then the other and then the other. And there's a, a short dirt hill but it's pretty muddy. It's a pretty muddy hill, and then we'll be getting onto a dirt road, which the dirt road, I don't think will be an issue. It's just the initial upgrade, and then to get to the dirt road. So we have three fifth wheels. And then of course, last but not least, we have a 40 foot class A. So hopefully the fifth wheels don't tear it up too much. Sorry, Jared. Like always guys, make sure you subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, Give us a thumbs up. This is gonna be a travel day. Five minutes later. We made it out of the spot. We are now on the dirt road. One thing I love and hate about the Anderson Hitch is that it allows the trailer to flex more, which is great because it's easier to get into off camber, kind of, I call it rock crawling, but it's not. Um, basically more technical locations, but we came about that close to our bed rail hitting our trailer. We made it out fine. The mud wasn't an issue. Now the only one that needs to make it out is Jared in the Class A, which he's a very good driver, so I think he will be fine. But you never know. Well, that was quick. Literally, by the time I got out of the truck, hold on. By the time I got out of the truck, Jared was already good to go. Got everybody loaded up. We got Rebecca and Jared ourselves and we got Jason and Ray and then the front we have James and Kelly gonna miss this spot it was a nice one So the sun came out for about two seconds and now it's obviously it's raining and there's some pretty gnarly thunder and lightning like right above us. So last moving day was Jesse's birthday when he ran his marathon and I drove the whole way um, just in case he got tired or something and I also wanted some practice with uh, towing and I was going to drive today and then it started raining so yeah um, I just decided that I didn't feel the most comfortable driving in the rain um, this is another we're talking about how it's just another element um, complicating matters so yeah, I mean, it's harder to see. You know, braking distances might be less because you might potentially go into a skid. Yeah, and I'm still getting used to, you know, slowly, slowly speeding up, slowly yeah, speeding. Yeah, and I mean, we're on a dirt road here. There's a lot of overhead trees that you have to be careful of. The road is muddy now, so. There are a few hills from what I remember. Yeah, and there's hills that we're gonna have to do in the mud. And there's cars, and the road is kind of narrow, to be honest. This, um, this road is nice. I mean, they've been doing work on it since we've been here. We saw like a steamroller going back and forth. Like, so they they maintain this road regularly. But it's just narrow. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm still getting used to towing. So, uh, just for a rainy day, we decided uh, that Jesse would drive today. Rainy day. Rainy day. Plus, he loves driving and eating those seeds. Yeah, I'm not. So, a couple people thought that I was like chewing dip. I, I don't do that. I eat seeds. <laughs> so, just for y'all know. <laughs> just for, for the record. So, we're talking about how it's really nice to caravan with people because, um, one, we don't have to make all of the decisions for ourselves. Um, and we have other people kind of looking out, like in front and behind. So we have Kelly and James in the very front and Kelly's driving the Jeep up ahead and she's gonna 
block the road if necessary at some point so that we can get up, you know, the rest of us can get up a certain section. And then we have Jason and Ray, and then us in the middle, and then Jared and Rebecca bringing up the rear. Um, so it's just nice we can kind of keep an eye on each other's rigs if, you know, something like a bay opens or if something's like falling out or falling off or whatnot. Yeah, because right now we're doing this pretty big hill climb. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna kick it into a lower gear. So yeah, this hill climb is not a place where you'd want to try to be passing somebody. Yeah, and they were doing construction on it the other day. Yeah, as you can see those K-rails right there, they were doing construction, so. That's another reason. Um, Looking clear, come on through. That's another reason we left early today. A little, a little earlier than our normal travel days, but we knew that it's Father's Day weekend, so there's a ton of people camping up here, and uh, we knew that we wanted to get an early start, so there wasn't as much traffic on the road. Yeah, it's a really popular area out here. There's um, one in particular huge spot for boondocking. It's really uh, open and wide and expansive, um, and that's where actually all of the sheep are grazing, so that's pretty cool. Um, sheep's on your layup. Yeah, that's... Sheep's on your layup. See? Sheep's on our Sheep's lap. on the lift. That'll probably be, I don't know if we can get a shot of them today, but that'll be in our previous video where we we went on a hike and we um, floated the Snake River. Yeah, so I'll show you guys over here. This is the biggest um, boondocking area and there's tons of rigs. You guys can see there's like rigs right there and over there. have a chill Netflix night, just the two of us, if we want. Um, so. Best of both worlds. Totally. And, don't forget guys, we, advent we have Adventure Endeavor t-shirts for sale on Teespring. And we have some stickers. Even want. better, how about we do this? Go buy a t-shirt on Teespring, and we'll send you a sticker for free in the mail. Send us a message and let us know. Bam! So we're driving in between Ashton and Island Park, Idaho, and there's these signs on the side of the road that say New Trees 1992 or 1982 or whatever it was. Um, so it's pretty cool. You can tell how old the trees are and they're still pretty small. So it just goes to show you how long it takes giant trees to grow. These are, so it, I can't do, I can't do that math in my head real quick what 27 years sure yeah okay like roughly roughly 30 years old roughly 27 year old trees over here um, and they still look like little babies so it's interesting oh 1960 oh That's these ones are cool. way bigger these ones are older. okay we're gonna show you these 1960 planted trees right these here are grandpa trees grandpa trees grandpa tree do 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 grandpa tree do do Grandpa tree do 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 Grandpa tree do 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 Grandpa tree. Oh, those trees are almost the same age as me. 1985. Oh, that's so interesting. Never seen that before. That's really cool. This is a first for everything. This is a part of the Caribou Tar. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Targi. Caribou Targi National Forest. Targi. 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 So we're pulling into a free dump station near Island Park and. Did we mention it's Father's Day weekend? Yeah, there's a lot of people here. This line is very long. Um, but we're committed, we're here, 
we're doing it and it's actually a really beautiful view there's a lot of fishermen up and down this uh, river and tons and tons of are those sunflowers no daisies I'm not sure yellow uh, flowers yellow flowers I imagine they're daisies they're way too small to be sunflowers uh yeah anywho's Zamba be nice to our friends outside be nice so we're sitting here waiting in line to use the dump station um, and it's Sunday and it's Father's Day which is probably the only downside of moving on a Sunday is dump stations can be pretty busy. But on the other hand it's probably the best day to move for Melissa considering she works so it's either Saturday or Sunday. And then if you move on a Saturday you're not going to be able to really find spots because people are just camping like weekenders and whatnot. So. So, yeah, oh well. We found a good spot. Nice. How's the internet? It's excellent. Excellent internet? Yeah. Is it, is it on the water? It is on the water. Ooh, nice. So what happened was um, all of the rigs stayed here at this little gas station and we hopped in the Jeeps, um, a few of us, to go scout some spots. And the first couple spots are really muddy and really rutted. And then some of them were like right on the water, but there was a lot of trees and it was too small. So what we ended up doing was going to <laughs> another spot back the other direction. And there was a lot more space there, um, much more clearings. And um, we actually found a really nice spot right on the water and we left one of the Jeeps there to kind of mark it. So hopefully, None of those RVs that we're driving in snaked it from us. So we'll have to keep our fingers crossed, but we do have some backup options as well, just in case. How would they park where the Jeep is? That seems weird. What do you mean? Like, why would they park where a Jeep's parked? Well, it's a big area. Mm. Like, not huge, but like pretty big. So, I don't know. You never know. Yep, that's um, a big tip. That's why you always like start your travel days early and have plenty of time to travel because you're like, oh, well, I was gonna go here, and then here doesn't work, so. Exactly, especially when you're boondocking. So we scouted, um, We, I'm sorry, we left our last spot at like 9.30. We had about a three and a half hour drive, including time to dump and get gas. It's now four o'clock, so we spent the past two hours scouting. We're glad that we found a good spot, and I was just saying how nice it is to have a group that we're caravanning with because we can scout in the jeeps and not have to worry about for us dropping our trailer somewhere and going to scout in the truck coming back getting the trailer would and then too far for the e-bikes it would probably be too far for the e-bikes i mean they could do it for but sure but i could just run there yeah but it'd take you like several hours what no way maybe i don't Me? know maybe maybe anyway it's no. an awesome spot. Anyway, we'll show you the spot in a second. <laughs> So we're not there yet, but these views are insane. So anywhere in this area is gonna be awesome. We are very excited. Well, I'm excited. Melissa already knows what to expect. What, it's paved again? Oh my gosh, look at that. Show them, show them. <laughs> I knew you were Free, free 99. Nothing beats free.
So this is always fun. We have large rigs because we live in them, but sometimes it can be difficult finding spots. All right, so we are here at Henry's Lake State Park, which is our new camp spot for the for the next two weeks. We're going to spend the fourth here. And apparently, three weeks ago, a guy was hiking at one of the trails in this area, and he was attacked by a mama bear. So we decided it was a good time to get out Jared and Rebecca's inert bear spray training can, and. Uh, We'll, we'll we'll see how Rebecca does. <laughs> Basically, we're filming Rebecca um, to see to see how to see how it goes. How it goes. This should so, be let's should be interesting. Safety first, everybody. Always carry bear spray when you're in bear country. So that's the bear. <laughs> you're you're walking through the forest. Making me very nervous. I didn't know. Quickly. Bear. <laughs> bear. Oh, it's attacking you. It's attacking you. Oh, you did. Bear! 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 All right, now Melissa's gonna give it a try. I hope you don't die, babe. Come around the corner from their trailer, like you're hiking, just enjoying yourself. Skip. Yeah. I want to see some skipping. Okay. Just how you normally. <laughs> so, so far away. So far away. Yeah, run at the bear. That's a great idea. <laughs> It's really far away and it blew back in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shoot, now you can shoot while it attacks. Wait, <laughs> away from the wind. Away from the wind. Not into the wind. Bear! Get closer. Get closer. <laughs> 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 Nailed it. Good job. Take that, bear. Do you have any thoughts? Uh, my thought is that everybody here has bear spray is gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> bear spray is no factor. You no. Can't, can't give it out no. fast enough. Yeah. Well, guys, that is it. We are here. Come check out our view. I don't want to fall off the patio. Oh gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so we got some really epic mountains back here. There's a bunch of snow, and then the other direction we have the lake. This is a great spot. It's absolutely gorgeous. And we're hunkered down here for uh, the two fourth, weeks. two weeks for Fourth of July. And it seems like there's a lot to do in this area. As you just saw, we tested our bear spray. <laughs> well, Rebecca and Jared did because a guy just got attacked by a bear like three weeks three ago. Three weeks ago here. in this area. So cool. we're gonna try to avoid that because we love hiking and I love running and and all that. So we do have two cans of bear spray. But yeah, that was just another travel day. It seems like people really like those videos, and we really like making them. So make sure you guys. Uh, like the video, the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and as well just uh have a great day yeah